made sure that everyone respected her and let her gather all the grain she needed. In fact, he even let her eat with his servants. When Ruth came home after a hard day's work, she told Naomi all about the kind man named Boaz and how he took special interest in her. Naomi remembered that Boaz was a relative to her dead husband, Elimelech. Now, it was tradition in those days for the closest relative of the family to help in time of need. Naomi saw this as a great opportunity for Boaz to be the family rescuer, or kinsman redeemer, as they called it. She told Ruth that she must continue gleaning from his fields. After all, he had been so kind, why go anywhere else? Day after day, Ruth gathered in his fields. Boaz offered her protection, food, and kindness. Day after day, they grew to enjoy being near one another. Naomi was hoping this would happen. Boaz admired Ruth. Ruth admired Boaz. So Naomi came up with a plan. She told Ruth, Late at night, I want you to go and wake up Boaz. It's time for you to let him know that you want him to marry you. You want his protection, his security, and his love. And that's exactly what Ruth did. Late one night, she came to Boaz as he slept outdoors on the threshing floor. I am Ruth, your servant. Please protect me. And Boaz did. But there was just one problem. There was another relative of Elamelech that was closer in relation than Boaz. It was technically his responsibility to care for Naomi and Ruth and provide for her a son. So Boaz, being the gentleman that he was, had a town meeting and invited the man. He presented the opportunity to him, and to Boaz's delight, the man refused. Finally, Ruth and Boaz could get married. Soon, they had a baby boy, bringing great joy to both of them and to Naomi, who got to help raise him. Naomi, the old woman who had experienced so much sorrow, was now filled with new vibrancy and joy. This son would not only become the granddaughter of Israel's great King David, but Jesus would be one of his descendants. Quite a beautiful story. Yes, and uh, it left off the part when, uh, in order to seal the deal, uh, he had to take his shoe off and hand his sandal to, to him. That was sort of the custom back then that, yeah, that's, I am in agreement. So, yeah, we see how Naomi, the mother, witnessed to her daughters-in-law over, over, the over the time that they were together. So that Ruth, who was a Moabite, who followed, followed false gods, when the time came for her to depart, she didn't want to go back to the false gods. She says, I'm going to follow you. And I'm going to go where you go and follow, follow your God. Your God is my God. And, and I will die where you uh, die. So help me, th uh, the Lord will not, I will not allow to be separated all the, all the days of my life from you. And so she showed much faith, much faith in, in God and was willing to, to trust her, the true God and follow, follow her back. Of course, you know, being women at that time, they didn't have any and protection, like I said, no, no means to, to earn. They had to glean just, you know, from the, the, from the, from the extra that fell. And Boaz always gave a little extra to her. And hi, Angelica. And, uh, and so that was uh, the, the testimony of her faith in God and how God then chose her to be in the line of Jesus. What an amazing thing that that Boaz had a, had a son through her, uh, Ob Obed, who, who, who was the father of Jesse, who was the father of David. And through that line of descent, from, from this line of descent came the Messiah. Of course, so it's, it's just another story that shows how God loves all people, foreigners, and that ties in with our story with the Samaritans today, too. Okay, how, how the disciples wanted to rain down fire from heaven on the Samaritans, but Jesus says, no, 
That's not the spirit that we have. We, God has given you a different spirit, the spirit to save and not destroy. So that's going to be our, our theme a little bit later. All right. So um, we can do uh, the song now, Forever Rain, and it's a bilingual song. Uh, okay. All right. Are you ready back there? Okay. Just the first slide then? Yeah? Okay. You are good, you are good, when there's nothing good in me. You are love, you are love, on display for all to see. You are light, you are light. When the darkness closes in, you are hope, you are hope, you have covered all my sin. You are peace, you are peace, when my fear is crippling. You are true, you are true, even in my wandering. You are joy, you are joy, you're the reason that I sing. You are life. You are life, and you death has lost its sting. And oh, I'm running to your arms, I'm running to your arms. The riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace. Light of the world forever reigns. You are more, you are more than my words will ever say. You are Lord, you are Lord, all creation will proclaim. You are here, you are here, in your presence I'm made whole. You are God, you are God, of all else I'm letting go. It is past, it is past, aun en medio del temor. La verdad, la verdad, cuando ando en confusión, la razón, la razón, de mi gozo está en Jesús. Él venció, él venció a la muerte en la cruz. Tú me abraces con tu amor, me abraces con tu amor, tu gracia me encontró. Cambio mi corazón, nada se puede comparar, reinas por la eternidad. My heart will sing, no other name, Jesus, Jesus. Mi corazón te cantará. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I'm running to your arms. I'm running to your arms. The riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace. Light of the world forever reigns. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Spirit Santo. Amen. Let us confess our sins to God our Father.
Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, confess our sins unto God our Father, asking Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God in his mercy has given his Son to die for you and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ora confessamos nuestros pecados a Dios. Oh Dios, nuestro Padre Celestial, confieso que he pecado gravemente contra ti de muchísimas maneras, no solamente con transgresiones manifiestas, sino también con pensamientos y deseos conocidos. Sinceramente me arrepiento de esos delitos que ahora me pesan, y te suplico que en tu gran bondad tengas misericordia de mí. Y por amor de tu amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, me perdones mis pecados y me ayudes clementemente en mis flaquezas. Amén. Dios poderoso, nuestro Padre Celestial, ha tenido misericordia de nosotros y por causa de los sufrimientos, muerte y resurrección de su amado Hijo Jesucristo, nuestro Señor, nos perdona todos nuestros pecados. En vista de la confesión que han hecho, yo como ministro de la Iglesia de Jesucristo, os anuncio la gracia y el perdón de Dios y en lugar del Señor Jesucristo y por mandato de Él, os perdono todos sus pecados. En el nombre del Padre, y del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. El Creo Apostolico Creo en Dios Padre, Todo Poderoso, Creador del Cielo y de la Tierra, y en Jesucristo, su único Hijo, nuestro Señor, que fue concebido por obra del Espíritu Santo, nació de la Virgen María, padeció bajo poder de Poncio Pilatos, fue crucificado, muerto y sepultado, Descendió los infiernos. Al tercer día, resucitó de entre los muertos. Subió a los cielos y está sentado a la diestra de Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Y desde allí ha de venir a juzgar a los vivos y a los muertos. Creo en el Espíritu Santo, la Santa Iglesia Cristiana, la comunión de los santos, el perdón de los pecados, la resurrección de la carne y la vida perdurable. Amén. Please be seated. Our Bible reading for t today is from Luke 9. Now it came to pass, when the time had come for him to be received up, that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face. And as they went, they entered a village of the Samaritans to prepare for him. But they did not receive him, because his face was set for the journey to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven? and consumed them just as Elijah did. But he turned and rebuked them and said, You do not know what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. Now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then he said to another, Follow me. 
But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell, who are at my house. And but Jesus said to him, No one, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing together, Lift High the Cross. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Come, Christians, follow where our captain trod, our King victorious. Christ, the Son of God, lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore His sacred name. All newborn soldiers of the crucified, bear on there blows the seal of him who died. Lift I the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Let every race and every language tell of him who saves our lives from death and hell. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Nuestra lección es de San Lucas 9. Cuando se cumplió el tiempo en que él había de ser recibido arriba, afirmó su rostro para ir a Jerusalén, y envió mensajeros delante de él, los cuales fueron y entraron en una aldea de los samaritanos para hacerle preparativos. Mas no le recibieron, porque su aspecto era como de ir a Jerusalén. Viendo esto, sus discípulos, Jacobo y Juan, dijeron, Señor, ¿Quieres que mandemos que descienda fuego del cielo como hizo Elías y los consuma? Entonces, volviéndose él, los reprendió, diciendo, Vosotros no sabéis de qué espíritu sois, porque el Hijo del Hombre no ha venido para perder las almas de los hombres, sino para salvarlas. Y se fueron a otra aldea. Lleno de ellos, uno le dijo en el camino, Señor, te seguiré a donde quiera que vayas. Y le dijo a Jesús, las zorras tienen guaridas, y las aves de los cielos nidos, mas el Hijo del Hombre no tiene dónde recostar la cabeza. Y dijo a otro, sígueme. Él le dijo, Señor, déjeme que primero vaya y entierre a mi Padre. Jesús le dijo, deja que los muertos entierren a sus muertos, y tú ve y anuncia el reino de Dios. Entonces también dijo otro, te seguiré, Señor. Pero déjeme que me despida primero de los que están en mi casa. Jesús le dijo, Ninguno que poniendo su mano en el arado mira hacia atrás. Es apto para el reino de Dios. Esa es la palabra del Señor. Demos gracias a Dios. Ahora cantamos a Santa Cruz. <coughs> Oh, 
rendir hasta la cruz a Cristo pregonar del buen Jesús el nombre proclamar la senda sigue del triunfal Señor cristiana hueste con total valor alza la cruz a Cristo pregonar del buen Jesús el nombre proclamar y de gloria sin cesar alzar la gran victoria de Jesús cantar alza la cruz a Cristo pregonar del buen Jesús el nombre proclamar Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. La gracia y la misericordia y la paz en a todos ustedes de nuestro Dios el Padre y su Hijo Jesucristo. Amen. What spirit are you of? What spirit do you have? ¿Qué espíritu tiene ustedes? Pues la respuesta para el cristiano es, yo tengo el nuevo espíritu. The response by a Christian is, I have the new spirit given by God, by the Holy Spirit in my heart. Dado por su gracia mi corazón. Tengo el espíritu de Dios en mi corazón. El espíritu mismo hace su, su hogar, su templo en mi corazón. The Holy Spirit himself makes his home, his temple in my heart. That's the spirit that God has graciously given to each of us through faith. In him, he asks us to follow him, follow him with his spirit in our hearts. Jesús nos, nos, nos obliga, nos, nos dice, sígueme, sígueme con el mismo espíritu de Cristo. For Jesus set his face to Jerusalem to go and give his life for us. Entonces puso su rostro hasta, ahí, ahí hasta Jerusalén. Para ir a, a la muerte para nosotros. Jesus had to go through, first of all, Samaria. You see the, the purple area, Samaria, from his travels from Galilee up north down to Jerusalem. Tuvo, and tuvo que entonces cruzar este área morada, Samaria. En este área mora, morada, entonces hay gente que realmente no estaba muy bien con los judíos. The, the people in Samaria didn't get along well with the Jews because they were a mixed race. Eran mixtos. Mixtos que era que se, que, que se casaron con extranjeros. Y no eran puros como los judíos. They had married with foreigners and no longer the, the, the true uh, Jude, Jude, Judean race. They were not 100% not Jewish. And so they were thought, thought of as lower people. Samaritans, they, they, they weren't liked. And so when they went through there, the Samaritans, of course, <laughs> they, they um, didn't uh, let the, the, the disciples pass because they were saying, you going to Jerusalem? Well, you have to go around. We don't like you. It made, it, it made life tough for them. Entonces tuvieron que no ir por Samaria porque no estaba muy, muy um, contento con los judíos que iban a cruzar su país, pa, su, su territorio para ir a Jerusalén. And so, what was the disciples' response? Well, you know. Lord, let's rain down fire on them, just like Elijah. Well, you know the story of Elijah. He called fire down to, to in a battle against uh, the false Baals, and God consumed the altar, the sacrifice on the altar, and all the water around it. Of course, he didn't, he didn't call fire down to kill the people. Pues, entonces, 
they wanted to call fire down on these, these Samaritans out of vengeance. Venganza. Era su propósito. Que, que, que quiere que como Elías, vamos a, a llamar que el fuego caiga del cielo para consumirles. Tal como Elías tenía una batalla contra los falsos profetas en el Antiguo Testamento, los que adoraron a los Baals. Entonces, este, la competencia era que dos altares. A ver, ¿cuál es el verdadero Dios? El verdadero Dios entonces va a consumir entonces el altar con fuego. Y los falsos dioses bailaron, entonces oraron en su falso Dios. Y entonces Elías estaba jugando con ellos y dice, es, yo pienso que tu Dios está durmiendo. And Elijah was, was, was teasing him. I think your God's, your God's sleeping. Uh, because nothing was happening on the false altar. But the true altar, to the true God, something did happen. Fire came down and, and showed that he was the true God. And, and so these disciples, they wanted to show who the true God was, but they didn't have the right spirit. To show the true God, you need to proclaim the true God. The true God who, who loves all people, who died for all people, who is going to Jerusalem for that very purpose, and who is going to give his life for the Samaritans too. Entonces, para, para mostrar quién es el verdadero Dios, no es simplemente pura ley, pura fuego. The true God is not just all law, all fire. No. He consumed his own son on the cross. Consumió a su hijo en la cruz por nosotros. Eso era el propósito de ir a Jerusalén. Por nosotros. Entonces, reprendió Jesús a los discípulos. Jesus, he reprimanded his disciples and he said, you don't know what spirit you are. I haven't come here to, to destroy lives. I've come to save them. That's my purpose. No he venido para perder, para destruir vidas, pero para salvar las vidas. Y lo ha hecho por nosotros, salvar a nuestras vidas. He's done that for us. He's saved our lives from, the, from hell itself by giving us a new life, a new spirit, para darnos un espíritu nuevo, para entonces salvarnos el infierno. And so, the disciples had to learn, didn't they? Just like we also have to learn the kind of spirit that God has given to us. This, and this, this spirit that, that, um, that follows Jesus, follows him carrying the cross. Siguiendo a Cristo, cargando la cruz. That he, he wants us to save all people with the good news of his death on the cross and his resurrection. So Jesus says, do not overcome, be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. God's the judge. He'll take care of evil and retribution. Don't have to worry about that. Your job is to to bring people to the right knowledge of, a, of Jesus Christ, that he is a good God who cares and loves all people. Entonces, que no ser vencido por la maldad, pero vencer la maldad con lo bueno, lo bueno de Cristo. And this is the Bible passage we, we heard last week from Galatians 3. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. That's who we are, spirit of, of Christ in our hearts. Bautizados en Cristo, somos revestidos de Cristo, el nuevo Espíritu en nuestros corazones, entonces tiene compasión para la gente. We have compassion for others. Just as Christ has had compassion and mercy upon us, and has given us this new spirit, then the spirit, the fruit of the Spirit has given to us is love and joy and peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, amor, gozo, paz, paciencia, bondad, fidelidad. Dominio propio, don es el Espíritu Santo que, que nos da a nosotros para usar para el bien de nuestro vecino. We use these gifts for the good of others, having patience, long suffering, love, kindness, gentleness. Not willing to, to condemn a person, but wanting to be patient with them and, and, and continuing to, to reach out to them, praying for them always. We don't know when God is 
is going to close the door on their hearts. Our job is to show forth his love to others. This is the spirit that God has given to us. The Holy Spirit that has come upon the first disciples in Jerusalem has made them witnesses to Jerusalem, to Judea, to Samaria, and to all parts of the world, including you and me. Que somos testigos de Dios por el poder del Espíritu Santo en Jerusalén primero, a Judea hasta Samaria, a los extranjeros y luego al fin del mundo, incluyendo nosotros. Nuestro mensaje es proclamar, proclamar la verdad en Cristo. No, 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 no tienes que, eh, Cristo dijo, let, deja que los muertos se entierren a sus muertos. Tú vayas a proclamar la buena noticia. Let the dead bury the dead. You go and proclaim. We have time to do it, urgent time. The time is now to proclaim the good news, how much Jesus loves and cares for you. No excuses, follow me. No hay excusas. Sígueme, día tras día, all day, all the time. Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. Who's he talking to? All of us. Está hablando a todos nosotros, no simplemente discípulos de Cristo o pastores, está hablando a todos. Tú anuncias el reino de Dios. And so we follow Christ. And he says, deny yourselves, take up your cross daily and follow me. And, and he will make us his disciples to, to, to share this good news. Sigue, si alguno quiere venir en pos de mí, niégase a sí mismo, tome su cruz cada día y sígueme. Porque todo que quiere salvar su vida la perderá, y todo que pierde su vida por causa de mí, este la salvará. Es lo más importante, es seguir a Cristo. And we heard the story about Naomi and Ruth, didn't we? That she was willing to follow the true God that was shown to her by her mother-in-law. Noemi, entonces, enseñó a su nuera la verdadera Dios, su nuera Ruth. Y entonces Ruth dijo, pues yo voy a servir a tu Dios. Tu pueblo será mi pueblo, tu Dios, mi Dios. Your, God, your, your people, my people, your God is my God. And, and what a testimony of faith she showed. And that a foreigner that God chose to be one of the descendants of Christ. Un extranjero, Dios escogió para ser un de, de, los, de los descendientes de Cristo. Our response, therefore, is, you've given me my, the new spirit. I will follow you wherever you go. Me ha dado el nuevo espíritu. Yo te seguiré a, a donde quiera que vayas. Amén. Y la paz que sobrepasa nuestro entendimiento guarda en sus mentes y corazones en Cristo Jesús. Peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding. Guard and keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We sing now together, Jesus loves me, Cristo me ama. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin. Let's his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still. When I'm very weak and ill, he does take me by the hand, takes me to the promised land. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus died for you and me. In the tomb my Savior lay, but the stone was rolled away. Yes, He is risen. Yes, He is risen. Yes, He is risen. Christ Jesus lives today. Cristo me ama bien lo sé. Su palabra me hace ver que los niños son de aquel quien es nuestro amigo fiel. Si Cristo me ama, si Cristo me ama, si Cristo me ama, la Biblia dice así. Please rise. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Ahora cantamos el Padre Nuestro. Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo santificado santificado sea tu nombre venganos tu reino Señor hágase tu santa voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo se hace tu santa voluntad Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo Santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. Danos hoy, danoslo Señor, nuestro pan, el pan de cada día. Y perdona nuestras deudas, así como nosotros perdonamos. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. No nos dejes caer en tentación, antes bien. Líbranos del mal, no nos dejes caer en tentación. Líbranos del mal. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, santificado, sea tu nombre. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Nuestro Señor, en la noche que fue entregado, como pan, habiendo dado gracias, lo partió, y dio a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen, comen, 
Esto es mi cuerpo dado por ti. Hagan esto en memoria de mí. In the same way also he took the cup after he had supped, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is a new testament in my blood, shed for you for the remission of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Nuestro Señor, después de cenar, tomó la copa después de sanado y dijo, Tomen, beben, esto es mi sangre, derramado por ti. Hagan esto en memoria de mí. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. La paz del Señor sea con ustedes siempre. Amen. Welcome to the Lord's table. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his favor upon you and give you his peace. Amen. El Señor te bendiga y te guarde. Haga, Señor, resplandecer su rostro sobre ti y tenga de ti misericordia. Vuelva, Señor, su rostro a ti y te conceda la paz. Amén. You may be seated. So our final song is called Más Allá del Sol. This is, the title is in, in English is Beyond the Sun. Um, 
there's a, there's a place that God has prepared for us, which, and uh, so we wait for that day when Christ will come again to take us to glory and to and we're in the mansion that He's prepared for us. It includes all races, um, and uh, and it's a house that He's prepared by the blood of His Son Jesus Christ. Okay. Aunque en esta vida no tengo riquezas, sé que ya en la gloria tengo mi mansión. Cual alma perdida entre la pobreza de mi Jesucristo. Tuvo compasión Más allá del sol Más allá del sol Yo tengo un hogar Hogar, bello hogar Más allá del sol Más allá del sol Más allá del sol Yo tengo un hogar Hogar, bello hogar, más allá del sol. Y si por el mundo yo voy caminando, de pruebas rodeado y de tentación, pero Jesucristo que me está probando, me llevará salvo hasta su mansión. Más allá del sol, más allá del sol, yo tengo un hogar, hogar, de hogar, más allá del sol, más allá del sol, más allá del sol. Yo tengo un hogar, hogar, bello hogar, más allá del sol. A todas las razas del linaje humano, Cristo nos ofrece plena salvación. También una casa no hecha de manos, me está preparada allá en su mansión. Más allá del sol, más allá del sol, yo tengo un hogar, hogar, de hogar, más allá del sol, más allá del sol, más allá del sol. Yo tengo un hogar, hogar, de hogar, más allá del sol. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Vaya en paz, sirviendo al Señor. Demos gracias a Dios.